Hello and welcome back to another gardening vlog and today we are going to be sowing the wildflower meadow. Now I have done one for the past couple of years, always has worked out. I've got my own little method that I use and I've actually bought some different seeds this year. I bought them from, um, this is not sponsored by the way, but it is Land Life Wildflowers. I bought them off the internet, obviously because we are in a pandemic, so um, I didn't really want to go to a garden centre, so I bought them online. I'll be trying them for the first time. They have some sewing instructions. Basically, I've got to clear the area that I'm going to sew in, which I do normally anyway. Um, and then I need to prepare the soil, break it over, make sure there's no stones, and then I need to sow the seeds. So I'll show you how I sow my seeds in a moment, but I just want to kind of show you what I've got. So this is what I bought from Land Life Wildflowers. I got a pack of UK native wildflowers. So I've got all these different packs. This one is Wild Bird. It's a 10 gram mix. This one is uh, Butterfly and Bee, because I want to attract lots of insects. This one is uh, Restore and Enrich Wildflower Seeds. So I'm not quite sure what's in them, but we'll see when they come up. I've also got Dual Purpose. Again, not sure what, what's actually in it, because I can't remember. And Cornfield Annuals. I've also got some random seeds. Um, I don't think I'm going to put these in, uh, all of them. I, I do have some random seeds, uh, but I think they're more like flowers, so I don't think I'm going to put those in. So I think we should just start with the actual wildflower seeds that I've already got. Okay, so this is the area that I am going to be planting or sowing in today. We did clear it from weeds in the autumn. But there's a few still come through, and I think we do actually have some seeds um, sprouting from last year that self-seeded. By the way, we have our, our cat Bo as well, <laughs> who's come out. There's also a little path, a little cobbled path, and then another area over here. So this is what we will be um, trying to clear over first. Okay, so you've just seen on the time lapse that I pulled out all of the really big weeds. I probably pulled out some seeds that self-seeded as well. Um, and I've just kind of loosely raked it over with the fork. And uh, like I say, you can go to town, you can spend ages getting rid of every single stone, every single bit um, of, of weed. That takes literally forever. I haven't really done it to that extent in the previous years and the meadow has always been really, really good. So um, again, I'm just gonna do it that way also. It's actually quite cold right now. <laughs> kind of just want to get them sown and done. Right, so let's go inside the greenhouse and I will show you my method of how I sow. Okay, so we're kind of back in the warm a little bit in the greenhouse. I take like an empty bucket like this. You can use kind of any sort of bucket. Um, and I get some compost. I've only got iricaceous at the moment, um, but it doesn't really matter what you use, just as long as it's something to kind of mix all the seeds together and kind of spread them around a little bit. So, I'm just going to take, where's my other glove gone? Okay, so I just take some of the compost, or if I say, you can use pretty much any compost. By the way, do not put any fertilizer in particular on the seeds because they actually quite like not to have that many nutrients in the soil. And the soil can be too nutrient rich because it actually encourages all of the weeds and the grasses to grow at a much faster and quicker rate. So it's best, literally, not to have terribly too much organic matter mixed in your wildflower meadow. They like low nutrients. Okay, so break up all of the soil. That should kind of be enough, I think. Now, let's remove the gloves because I like to be able to kind of feel what I'm doing. So, um, next is you need to put your seeds inside. So. I literally just cut the packet off and let me just show you what the seeds look like. I think they're loose in the packet, they are. So this is the, the this is the corn, this is the corn field and these are annuals. So they are going to go in, so I just kind of mix them in like this. Uh, you can open up the packet just to make sure every last seed is out. Next, we are going to do the a dual purpose wildflower seed mix. They look, 
they look like that. And again, they just go in. Now I actually quite like mixing seeds and I have chosen ones that are kind of wildlife, bee, butterfly, insect friendly. Here we have the restore and enrich going in. So let's pop that in there. Now this should, should be more than enough to do the space that I have. Okay, next we have the butterfly and bee. So I'm doing that now. Here we have the butterfly and bee. Again, mix it all in. And finally, we have the wild bird. So hopefully we'll get lots of, lots of birds attracted. Oh, it actually looks a bit like bird seed, actually. So that goes in. Okay, now was there anything else that I wanted to add? Let me just check. Next, I would put the gloves back on and just give it all a really good mix. So really get in there and literally give everything a really good mix. What you want to do is really space out all of the seeds and we can mix them in. There we go. I think now you can see when I put the camera on it, that, that is a really good kind of mixing of the seeds. So that's what I've done inside. Now I need to go and just kind of sprinkle it all over the area that I want to sow. Okay, so the method I'm using is going to be free casting. You literally take a handful and then you can start to spread in the soil like this. So you can kind of see where you've been. Okay, so I've decided what I want to do in the second half is to put some of the, the giant poppies, peony mixed colours, some columbine, harlequin, and some random mixed seed that I was sent. I don't know what they are. Oh, these are and some egro oxalis seeds. Again, the same thing, just mix them all up. And then we can sprinkle them on. And what I'm going to do next is lightly fork the soil in. The 
this also helps to spread all the seeds around. And we do the same on this side as well. And there we have it all done. So if it doesn't rain, I will go and water them, but I'll leave it for a few days. It's always best to naturally germinate, I think. So we've got the wildflower meadow in this section here, and we've got the uh, poppy peonies and, every, and the harlequin and everything else over in this section here. So of course, if you watch my weekly vlog, you will see a garden update every single week in my weekly vlogs and also like i say i will do a proper full garden tour here on the channel every single month okay so just to completely clarify you can spend a lot of time preparing your seed bed the way you're going to sow some people cover the area with plastic about three months before they then take it up reweed again some people put weed killer down wait another two to three months um, this is the method that I've done. It's really quick, simple, easy, and it has worked for me for the past three to four years where I have sown a wildflower meadow. So this is what I'm just kind of replicating again and again this year. Although this year I haven't used those wildflower seeds. And of course I haven't sown the poppy peony either. So uh, that will be quite interesting to see when it comes up. So thank you for watching this vlog. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So from me in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye.